What's up everyone? I'm Coach Megan and we are so going to learn how to do our pullover on the bars. Okay, it's a really great skill. It's great for working all your muscles and it's so much fun and it's a great basics of gymnastics. So let's get the show on the road here. Okay, so what you want to think about is getting your chin above the bar here. Okay, so really work on your chin ups and push ups, lots of arm strength to get that part of the pullover. All right, and stomach's gonna be nice and tight. You really wanna aim for getting your legs together the whole time. I'm gonna show you one first so you know what in the world I'm talking about. So chin above the bar, legs together, and we end nice and tall and tight, see? So as you're going over, you wanna think about keeping that chin above the bar and not letting your head go back. Okay, because if you do that, look at then I can't not make it over. And that's not what we want. So, so as you're getting those feet up and over, chin above the bar, and squeeze your legs like so tight that you can't take it anymore. Because the tighter you are, the easier these things are gonna be. Alright? Now once your feet get up over your head, you wanna really try and keep keep your pull-up position, okay? Because if you straighten out your arms, okay, and halfway through, you're just going to drop to the ground like this, all right? So really keep this position the whole way through. Then you're going to get your feet around and your hips are going to go to the bar. You're going to pull your chest up as the feet come down. Think of it as like a seesaw. So as your feet come down, the chest is coming up. And as the chest is coming up, this is a very important step right here I'm about to say. You need to remember to switch your hands. So they're gonna be from here, they're gonna switch to the top of the bar and you're gonna keep your shoulders in front slightly. Okay, because if you do this, then you're just gonna fall backwards. All right? So, let's watch this one more time. Chin above the bar, nice and tight. My feet go up, I don't arch on the bar, feet come down, chest up, and I switch my hands all at the same time. So a drill for that one that really helps the kids I've taught, you're just going to think about folding yourself in half on the bar like this. A real danger is when people forget to get their feet down as their chest goes up. Because if you forget to uh, put your feet down as you're pulling your chest up, this is what's going to and you're gonna fall backwards. It's just bad news and we don't want to go there. All right, so really, as you pull that chest up, get your feet down. Please, pretend like there's someone down here like pulling on your feet. Anything that can make you think of it. All right, so what you do, hold, those, hold yourself in half. Try hanging here like this. Look, see, so you know you're safe because your hips are holding you up. going down, the chest up, and the hand switching. I know I say everything over and over and over again, but that's how it sticks in your brain, and then you won't forget, and then you're not going to get hurt. So that's what we want. So really pay attention. Look at my hands right now to this. Bam! All right, and then once you get up there, squeeze that high knee. Get that stomach in and push down with your shoulders. All right? So really pay attention now. Okay, chin above the bar, feet up, legs together, toes down, chest up, hands rotate to the top of the bar, and I squeeze with a nice tight hollow position, getting the thighs on the bar. Don't be like this. Tight, push down, like you're digging the bar into the ground. All right? Excellent job, everyone. Nice work, nice work. Now a tip to getting it, if you have like a mat or something you can put right here, Let's make an invisible map 
right here. You put your feet up on the invisible situation, pretend, and then you can kick your favorite leg over first with the other leg joining it. It's kind of like just a beginning step. So foot up on the on the mat. The it's invisible right now, but it should be real. Kick the favorite leg over and then pull up. Because that mat's gonna really help you understand. You can even have like a, a mat that goes on an angle and you can walk your feet up the mat. I tried to show you over there, but uh, owie, those things in the ground really hurt my behind. Okay, so hollow body rocks like this, stomach in, lots of V-ups, okay, like this, tons of push-ups with good form, reverse hollow body hold, walk the hands out, squeeze the butt with the stomach in, hold, lots of handstands, okay, um, and that should just about do it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned something and I wish you all the best of luck on your pullovers. Go get them. Uh, I'm gonna do my end of the workout trick for you now. I'm just gonna do a quick cartwheel back handspring step out, layout step out for you. Don't try this 